Shalom, shalom, my Havarim. Greetings, my YouTube Mishpa. What's up, my people? And welcome, friends, to Bible on a Bicycle. My name is Will, and I'm an aspirant follower of Yeshua HaMashiach, that is, Jesus Christ. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's pretty crucial for every follower of Yeshua out there. Reading the Bible. We know there's a ton of valuable stuff in there, but let's talk about how we should be approaching it. Reading the Bible in context boosts our faith foundation and helps us understand why Jesus is the real deal. Imagine the Bible as this amazing, complete story, like a blockbuster movie. It's all about reading it as a cohesive piece, sticking to the real, raw truth that the original authors intended. This means reading with integrity, considering the historical and literary vibes of each passage, and of course, using the Bible in context to understand the Bible, because we definitely don't want it contradicting itself. Now, if we step outside this context, we're leaving some wisdom on the table. You might even end up with some wild misunderstandings. So here are five solid reasons why it's crucial for each and every one of us to read our Bibles in context. One, let's talk about the nature of scripture. It's not your average book. It's more like a complete puzzle. Each piece, like a thread, weaves into a bigger picture. We've got the Bible as God's word and story, the top umbrella of all context. It glorifies him from beginning to end with that glorious thread of redemption woven in. Yeshua himself said, you study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. That's in Yohanan, the Gospel of John, chapter five, verse 39. Reading in this context helps us understand who Yeshua is, why he came, and why the gospel is all over the Bible. Two, now let's talk about us humans. We're naturally me-focused. We tend to read ourselves into any given text through our own lenses of experience, culture, and understanding. Reading in context help us step back and pull out the intended meanings of the text. It's all about keeping descriptive accounts just that, descriptive, instead of turning everything into a prescription. This goes against our nature, especially considering our perspectives are far removed from biblical times. Three, context is key for proper interpretation. We interpret stuff all the time without even realizing it. Recognizing the nature of the Bible and our own tendencies helps us appreciate the context that aid in interpretation. We've got to remember that the Bible can't mean to us what it never meant to the original authors and audience. Take Jeremiah 29, verse 11, for example. For I know the plans that I have for you. Sounds promising, right? But read within its context, and you'll see it's not a direct promise to us, the modern-day Christians. 4. Handling the Word of God requires care. The Bible tells us to do our best in presenting ourselves to God as workers who correctly handle the Word of Truth. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 Reading out of context, twisting scriptures, it goes against how the Bible tells us to handle its contents. We need to be mindful of how we approach the scriptures, just like the early Christians were instructed to hold fast to what they've been taught. 5. Watch out for wolves. Wolves don't use context. Jesus warned us in the Gospel of Matthew, that's Matthew, chapter 7, verses 15 through 16, about false prophets who look innocent but are actually ferocious wolves. Not every scripture twister is a wolf, but every wolf is a scripture twister who ignores context. Testing everything and learning from those who interpret with integrity are our defenses against these false teachers. In the end, context matters big time. 
Reading the Bible out of context can lead to misinterpretation, misrepresentation, and misapplication. So let's ask the who, what, when, where, and why questions, and read the Bible from start to finish in a trusted translation. This approach will transform our literacy of the Bible and deepen our understanding of God, giving us a greater reverence for His Word and truth. So folks, let's read often and always read in context. As always, thank you for joining me here today. I know your time is valuable and I appreciate you spending it here with me, reflecting on the Word as I share my ride along the way. Until next time, Remember, Yeshua, Jesus loves you. So do I. I get off of here, go ride your bike, and read your Bible.